This is a SharePoint and Live Tiles intranet demo where I'm going to take you through some of the features uh, that such an intranet would give your organization. First up is, of course, we have the Microsoft toolbar at the top, uh, which allows you to access any app within Microsoft 365 and also search either across the whole of Microsoft 365 or, if you choose to, have it search your intranet uh, alone. Um, then we have the navigation at the top here, which is actually added by Live Tiles. This is a custom element and that allows you to have not only mega menus that have four uh, different levels within the navigation, allowing you to have various links organized into different categories and also sections within the menu, but also importantly, Live Tiles gives you um, targeting features that allow you to show certain groups or elements of the menu to certain users or you know, employees only. Um, so in the example of education, that may be that you show, you're showing certain key guidance links uh, and information or policies to teaching staff uh, that are different to those that you so show to the, your central services, your admin teams uh, and, and uh, shared services teams. So that's one way you could make the navigation seem uh, or be more relevant to different individuals who have different roles within your organization and make it seem as if it's tailored around them and their needs. Then also on the home page we have a, a, a number of custom components here that are delivered by Live Tiles to improve the um, usability and appearance of the pages. So we have uh, the news feed here with this carousel that allows you to quickly go through different articles and see a preview of that content. Uh, there are other layout options available, so it doesn't have to be a carousel like this, as you can see below. There's a slightly different layout that here is showing uh, news from different com parts of the organization, not, not the kind of global news that everyone sees, but uh, a different, um, different functions and different uh, other topics. Also on the right here, we've got a, a component uh, that allows you to do a quick search for people. So I can start typing in somebody's name here and it will immediately uh, suggest all the Garys in the organization and I can click through to go to Gary's profile and contact him. Um, further down, we've got uh, Teams. So if you're using Microsoft Teams, um, you, know, you can search, of course, within Teams um, to try and join Teams that you're not a member of and, and so on. But it's a nice way here to have this brought to the Internet homepage, making the Internet homepage feel more of that digital workplace hub that gives you um, many things that you need in one place, including a quick search of Microsoft Teams that exists. So if I'm looking for a marketing team that I know I want to join, then I can still search in here and then and I can see the marketing teams. And then below that, we've got some other web parts here showing upcoming events, uh, which is, of course, useful if you've got like a shared calendar across the organization. This can then also have different categories for uh, different schools or colleges, um, but they all get kind of you know, um, rolled up into one events list at the top. And then everyone can see on the home page. Again, you could have targeting in place to show certain types of event to different types of employees. Uh, then we have, on this example, we've got just pages, um, though I have another example here where this component is um, showing a specific type of content, and I'll just switch across to that now, and that is policies. So if I go into this uh, search box here and I type in, uh, I'm looking for a policy about leave, and then I quickly see results, and there's leave. There's a policy here about the leave process, and I can click that and get that information. So just a nice example of a custom um, web part provided by Live Tiles that allows you to do a very focused search on a certain important content type, in this case policies. And on this uh, demo homepage you can see some other examples of some interesting features like we actually see the your email here in the on the internet homepage, which um, is quite uncommon uh, to have, but it is something that um, you know, you have the option to have on your intranet. Um, furthermore, up on the top right, we've got recently used documents from across Microsoft 365. So this really does make my intranet homepage more of a uh, useful daily work tool um, that would allow me to access uh, files that I've recently been editing, um, let's say yesterday or earlier in the day, uh, without needing to remember where it's based. Is it in OneDrive? Is it in a Teams um, shared files area? I don't need to remember that. I can just go here and access that file again from this um, little uh, component on the homepage.
On the left here I have the Live Tiles Everywhere panel that gives me a number of different features including for example uh, quick links that again could be targeted based on the current user's role. Um, this would be linking out to common applications and so on making this a natural launch pad for uh, my daily work. Um, but also other panels like uh, again people search, advanced people search here in this example um, and also you can even create a panel which is completely oriented around news and almost creates a home page feel inside the panel uh, and that's great because then you can actually place this panel and make this available all of these uh, different um, flyout panels available in Microsoft Teams directly uh, too so that's uh, very handy and lastly I should just point out here as well that you've also got a notifications button up here that allows you to have um, functional updates uh, around, you know, based around facilities, opening times, that sort of thing. If there's if there need to be closures or fire alarm testing, there can be alerts placed into that to notify your um, employees about those changes, those events that are going to happen.